so for today's video we will be discussing some questions based on the modulus of a complex number okay so for this <coughs> what we'll do is we'll first discuss the concept of com modulus of a complex number then we'll take some examples some very good examples based on the concept of modulus of a complex number okay so let's start with the concept of modulus of a complex number okay so for this what we'll do is we'll take the argon plane we know that in the argon plane now a complex number uh, could be represented as as a point so there exists a one one correspondence between the points of let's say the numbers of a complex number system and the points of a of the argon plane as in if we take the argon plane like this okay and we take a point here as let's say point p which is having the coordinates a comma b <coughs> now corresponding to this what does this statement mean that corresponding to any point on this argon plane let's say this is real axis over here and this is imaginary axis over here so corresponding to this one is origin <coughs> corresponding to any point belonging to this argon plane there would be a one one correspondence <coughs> to the numbers of the complex number system as in let's say corresponding to this point let's say corresponding to the point one comma two there would be a unique complex number existing which will be one plus two y and corresponding to that one plus two y there would be a unique point existing in the argon plane which is one comma two so this complex number let's say this complex number is z over here okay so let's say we write z is equal to a plus b i so this a plus b i now uniquely corresponds to this point a comma b and this point in the argon plane this uniquely corresponds to the complex number a plus b i okay so the concept of modulus is whatever is the distance between this point now this point is let's say this point is complex number z over here okay this point corresponds to the complex number z over here okay <coughs> so this is the complex number z this represents the complex number z now uh, the distance of origin from this point represents the modulus of complex number z the modulus or we say it as magnitude of the complex number z now this length op would be mod z it is represented the modulus of z is represented as mod z so this distance would be mod z from here to here okay now we take another complex number over here which is just the image of this complex number z in the real axis so we can see observe that this angle theta and this angle theta both would be same because these are two congruent triangles now this complex number let's say this point is p dash and the coordinates would be a comma minus b so the coordinates are a comma minus b let's say this complex number <coughs> now there is a concept of conjugate as in if this complex number z is a plus ib then we can write here conjugate of of complex number z is actually z bar which is a now it was a plus ib it is a minus ib this complex number so here it is z bar actually so this is a minus iota b is the conjugate of this complex number a minus iota b the original complex number this complex number z was a plus ib this conjugate of z is z bar which is a minus ib now the significance of conjugate is it is basically the image of this particular given complex number about real axis okay now we can see that the distance of this point from origin and the distance of this point from origin both are same right so this represents the modulus of this particular complex number and this represents the modulus of this particular complex number both the moduli are same according to the diagram so we can write here modulus of z is equal to modulus of this complex number now this complex number is z bar z bar means conjugate of the complex number. so we can write here z is equal to z bar okay i am assuming that you know the exponential form of complex number if you know the exponential form of complex number so you must be knowing z is equal to 
mod z e raised to the power i theta and here because the theta is corresponding to this angle now if this angle 